What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wealth Not Wait. I am your host, as always, Joseph Coisen, and on today's episode, we are talking about something that is extraordinarily important regarding your health, regarding your just life in general. It does affect your finances, your relationships, just everything. Um, here, you know, we're big advocates of help uh, and health on this channel. You know, making sure you get the help that you need with everything as far as your uh, your health, and then taking control of your health and making sure that you are in the best shape, the best possible way of life that you could be living and help you succeed with all your goals, relationship, financial, health, everything. Just all that throughout your entire life and your lifestyle. Um, A topic that's not usually talked about on a lot of health channels, a lot of fitness type things, um, or even really like arguably some business and success stuff, but not a whole as a whole aspect of it, um, is mental health. That's something that a lot of people really don't talk about, a lot of people don't discuss. Even still now as we're starting to break uh, a lot of the stigmas, thankfully, and we're starting to uh, talk more about it. It's not a huge topic as it should be. And I feel personally that as long as people continue to talk about it and continue to bring it up or have their experiences or try and help others, we will do a lot of good towards helping those people who need it, finding themselves or breaking through some, some mental barriers uh, that they have put up. And mental health is a huge aspect, especially with, um, you know, I talk about in the book, especially your mindset as far as success, as far as how you view yourself, as far as, you know, just everything in general. Uh, Again, relationships, health, business, success, everything, Um, just just going through life, really anything, all that relates back to your mental health. You cannot succeed in life without having a good mindset, without being in the right place mentally, without viewing yourself in the right way. Mental health issues are a problem that affects a lot of people. You know, unfortunately, but true, especially people who are young and adolescent. And what I've seen, you know, you're starting to go through life, you're starting to figure things out, and you have all this burden placed on you, and you're starting to be like, okay, fuck, what do I do? Or especially now with COVID and everything, people are secluded, people are alone, they're alone with their thoughts, and sometimes things get dark. Um, as far as, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a mental health doctor. Um, these are just some things that I've found in my life. I have a lot of friends who unfortunately have mental health issues. Um, you know, everybody goes through some dark patches in your life, including myself. You know, things can, can be tough for a lot of reasons, no matter who you are, no matter how much money you are, or how many people love you. It's ultimately you in your mind that determines how you feel about yourself, determines on how you go about through life. You could be the most amazing person in the world, everybody loves you, you have the most money, but you could just be really going through it because you don't view yourself in a good light, not saying you have to view yourself as, oh my God, you know, this amazing thing, but if you don't view yourself in a good light, you're going to have a tough time going through it. So some things that I found that help not just myself, but others as far as things to kind of cope with that. And again, it's not a cure. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know how to fix everybody's problems as far as that, but some things that that help kind of settle small issues or just help momentarily or anything that come up that I find is just taking a deep breath. You know, if you take a deep breath and you're just like, <sighs> sometimes, especially, you know, when you're working out, you find that you're breathing and when you're running, when you're breathing, all that, your breathing plays a large part in how you're thinking, what you're able to do, where you're kind of at. You know, if you're lifting something, you take these large, deep breaths from your stomach, in and out, in and out, you're able to lift more and you're able to do so, you know, better. Uh, you're able to function a lot proper, especially when you're running. If you go, <laughs> as you're running, you're probably going to get winded pretty quickly. Your lungs are going to start hurting and then just overall you're going to have a hard time running. Just in life sometimes you, when you're you know, anxious or upset or annoyed, you could you know, just like not be breathing the best. You could just have these, or these quick breaths you know, or maybe you're just holding your breath completely. You know, it's not good to be doing that. Especially if you're angry, you just, you know, sometimes I I catch myself and, you know, you can't, you're not breathing. Not that you can't breathe, but you're not breathing. You're just kind of like holding in your breath and you're just sitting there getting steamed up and angry. Just sometimes you have to stop and go. So big, deep breaths and you start to think and you just start to release more of that, you know, the anger, the angst, that, you know, everything that's inside of you just kind of release it out. It may not cure the issue, but it'll definitely help you getting your mind straight and getting set on what you need to do. If you're angry, hopefully it'll get you set on not being angry. If you're upset, you're, you know, you're scared, it'll hopefully just help you not be upset and scared. If you just got something going on, it's just sometimes a good refresher just to be like, okay, because then you feel, you feel like a wave kind of wash over you. Um, you know, it's kind of a stereotype, but you do, you feel that wave wash over, you are like, okay, I could attack this better than I could have before. Maybe not solve the problem, but it helps you attack it better than you could before. Um, or something else that also really helps is just stepping away from something. You know, something's getting you really upset. You get up and getting you really angry. Step away from it. 
the conversation, if you're talking to somebody, you know, that, that internal perspective, that knowing where you're at. I know Gary Vee talks about all the time perspective and, you know, but it really is a huge part of it. Um, internally just being like, I am not in a good place. I am just so angry and upset to have this conversation. Say, listen, I am very angry. I'm very upset. I can't have this conversation right now. I can't talk to you about this right this second because I'm not going to be myself and I'm going to say something I'm going to regret. Never do something out of anger because you can't take that back and then never make a promise when you're happy. Those are some good life life lessons that you learn because when you make promises when you're happy, oh yeah, do, of course we'll do this. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh yeah, we'll be together forever. And then one day you're going to have to break that promise, unfortunately. You may have to break that promise. Um, just out of anger, spite, anger. Somebody hurt me. I want to go back and hurt them. And then after doing it, you might just sit back and be like, wow, that didn't do anything. Now I got to deal with one of those consequences. Two, I hurt this person and you know I, I care about them and maybe I, I didn't want to hurt them uh, in that regard. Or, or three, okay, now I hurt them and I don't feel good about it. That didn't help me in, in the slightest. You know, Maybe it might even make you feel worse. Um, a lot of, again, what I found and what I've seen. Um, so just take a step back. You have to just have that in, in emotional, that kind of perspective and then that internal like feeling, that empathy for yourself. Um, and just really know when you need to step away from something and say, or something's getting you really upset. Something's getting you really scared. Of course you want to, you know, push back with what you're comfortable with and break new barriers and try new things and be brave. But if something's really pushing you and you're just not comfortable or you're just upset and you're angry beyond anything reasonable, you just need to say, listen, I, I need to take a step back. If you're at work and somebody's getting to you, I know you may be having a bad day, you didn't sleep and something happened and then this other thing happened and you've got your lunch at home and then if somebody comes over and just says a dumb fucking comment, you just want to, mm, you just want to give it back to them. Don't. You know, if you really need to and you really need to walk away from them, excuse me for one second, go over say, hey, somebody else deal with them. I, I, I can't deal with them right now. You know, I'm, I, I need a moment to myself just, just to relax. Nobody should, you should be in trouble for doing that. Nobody should have an issue with that. Take a second, go to the bathroom, put some water on your face. You know, people at work all the time will just, you know, especially in retail, they just, they can't handle it. They just break down. They go on their break and they just start breaking down. You know, it's, it's very tough to just deal with other people and their negativity all the time. Again, especially right now with COVID, especially right now, you know, and just in general in retail, especially with jobs, especially with stuff. When this is your way of paying bills, I know friends who have rent, they have, you know, insurance, they have car payments, they have to, you know, have food. They don't have parents who are able to help them. They don't live with their parents. You know, maybe they're on the other side of the con continent, you know? I have people who, oh, I moved from California. My family's still in California. I'm here by myself right now, working a job, and I have to pay for everything on my own. And, you know, I have a lot of stress with that. And now I'm out all of a sudden and somebody's fucking giving me a hard time. This is the sixth person who's yelled at me. And this one person's just a super fucking dick today. And then they just go and they just, they break down. It should never get to that point. You know, it should never really get to that point where you just, you know, obviously if you need to, do it. We'll move on to it. We'll talk about that in a second. But just take a step back. You know, everything's getting stressful. Oh my God, you have to do this. You have to take a step back. Relax. Take a step back and just, you know, try and try and get, separate yourself from that. If there's a bad environment or there's a bad anything, you know, a good way to help you. And I talk about this in the book with everything, environments and all that. A good way to do good in life and be successful and be happy is to separate yourself from the negative. If there's a negative environment, separate yourself from it. If somebody in your environment is negative, separate yourself from it. If you have a negative mindset, separate yourself from it. Say, okay, that's not me. That's not who I am. This person isn't the person I want to associate with. This place isn't the place I need to be. I want to be around this right now. I know this is a negative thing. I need to back away from it. There's no shame in that. You know, you're not a loser. You're not anything. You're not scared. You're not all that. You know, even if people call to you, if you're around someone, you're like, I really don't like what's going on right now. Good. Call me whatever you want. It ain't my scene. Go fuck yourself. Go do what you got to do. I'm, I'm going to be me. I'm not comfortable. I don't want to be around this. I'm gone. Bye. And ultimately, that, that'll, that'll help you in life and that'll help you be successful and happy is because you're not around these negative things. You're not around these things that are going to hurt you. You're able to put yourself away from it and go, okay, take a deep breath and take stock of where I am going to be mentally. Um, three is if you really get to that point, if you really are just, you feel like breaking down and just, you, you know, you got to let it out, let it out. You know, I know a lot of people, unfortunately, deal with death of family members. I know a lot of people who deal with, you know, body issues, you know, myself included, who at one point dealt with that. Um, just if you need to let it out, if you need to talk to someone or you just, you know, maybe not need to talk to someone, but go somewhere and just break down, do it. I mean, you know, I know you're just kind of, it's kind of sound, everyone wants you to be strong and all that. Obviously, you'd be strong and be brave, but sometimes you just kind of let it out, you know, especially if it's, you know, a death or you're just, you're, you're really overwhelmed or you're pushed to a limit. Just let it out. Just, just let it go. Okay. Just sit there, you know, and if you've got to break down and let it out, do it. If you're in the shower sometimes and you're really 
negative in your head. It's early in the morning, you gotta get up early and you're just kind of like, I'm having a hard time doing this today and just, you know, all of a sudden these thoughts hit you. Just let it out, okay? Just let it out because and, and, it'll help you cope with it. You know, it'll help you get it out. If you just keep all this bottle up and inside you, it ultimately is gonna hurt. You know, I had, a, I had a tough time letting things out too. I wouldn't really cry necessarily. Um, a lot of the time when I was, this is what I was saying, when I was younger and I was dealing with a lot of the issues of my own, you know, body positivity, just being around people, the school, um, you know, just life in general, especially, like I said, being young, you know, some stuff could just get to you. Um, and just doing that, I not necessarily would cry a lot, but I would definitely keep it to myself and just have these moments of like pain. You know, I wouldn't talk to anybody about it and I wouldn't let it out. Maybe if I let it out and cried a little bit more, it would have helped. Um... But letting it out just internally and by yourself is, is definitely something you need to do if you feel like you're at that point and you're just getting pushed back. Obviously, you don't want to have a breakdown in front of everybody and make a bad situation worse. You know, say go somewhere, go to the bathroom, something, just let it out. Just let it out. I'm not saying looking for sympathy after, oh, I just cried in the bathroom, this, that, and then and make it a big pity party. You don't need to do that. You know, uh, you don't have to. Obviously, talking to somebody is important. But you should go and just have a moment to yourself. And afterwards, collect yourself after you let it out. Just really get it all out, really. Just internally, if you gotta be there for like five, 10 minutes and just get it out, just do it. Then take a deep breath and you know, collect yourself and figure out what you gotta do and what your next moves are. You know, Letting out all that anger and aggression then stepping away from it, taking a deep breath and it'll help you find a clear mindset and in order to, to approach what you have to do next. You know, If you have to walk away from something or go home or do this or do that, it'll help you make that decision better. If it's okay, I just gotta stick it out and push through it. It'll help you make that decision better. Um, next is just talking to people. You know, like I said, I, I had a hard time, especially people closest to me, my family, uh, my friends. I had found a difficult time to just talk to them. I found I just needed to do all this on my own, and I got to be this big, strong person. And you know, ultimately, your problems and especially any mental issues is you can only, you're only the only one who could solve them is, is you. But you sometimes need to talk to people about it. I'm not, again, and you know, I, I tried to find a, a difficult situation where I was, oh, maybe I'm just going to be the bummer. Maybe I'm, I'm bringing all this negativity to this person's life. You know, have a group of people. Find people. You know, if you don't have anybody close to, there are hotlines and there are things that you could talk to or, you know, maybe see a, a psychiatrist or somebody if you need to and just t talk to them. Just having somebody to talk to who's there and actively listening to you, you know, even if they're an expert or whatever they're not, or they're just somebody who's just like, I'm sorry you're going through that. You know, there for you if you need anything. Sometimes just so those words mean a lot. You know, and sometimes it just it really it really helps you. You know, even if you just text them, shoot somebody a text. You know, talk to someone. Just get out there, and if you feel it's a bigger burden than you need to, find somebody else to help you with it. You know, if it's somebody who's trained and that's their job, or just a friend who just wants to lend a hand, or a family member who loves and cares about you. You don't need to put that burden onto them. You just need to open up. Okay, you're not passing a burden on to them. You're just opening up and letting out the floodgates. That doesn't mean you're filling up their dam. It just means you're filling, letting out yours. That's essentially what it means. Okay, you know They're not taking on now a responsibility of, oh, I got to help this person. They just stay listening to you because they're a good friend or they're a good family member. And after that, you know, they may not even think about it. They may not think, oh, man, you know, so and so is going through a problem. But just even talking about small issues or just small things. You know, not being a negative person all the time, but just letting out when you need to you know, let out. And, and talking to people about your issues is definitely a way to help cope with it because then you just kind of release that out. You're not putting it on somebody else, like I said, but you're releasing it out. You're just like, okay, now this isn't internally just killing me and it's just a, a, you know, a problem that's affecting me. It's just now I said it, it's out, it's out, that's it, it's done, it's gone. That's something important that definitely can help you out. Um, and then finally, one of the last tips I have uh, is trying not to think about negative thoughts is always a difficult thing. If you have a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of things going through your head, um, it's, it's very difficult to say, oh, just don't think negative thoughts or just don't think negative things. If you try and not think about something, you're going to be like, let me think, not think about this. That's all your mind's going to fucking focus on. That's all it's going to be. So try and replace it with positive thoughts. You know, I know it's like that meme, oh, just think happy thoughts. It's, it's kind of like that, but it's also kind of not, unfortunately. Um, just try and replace negative things with positive things. If you have a lot to do, just think, oh, look at how much I already accomplished. Instead of sitting there and saying, okay, I'm, I'm making progress. That's the important thing. Instead of saying, oh, I have a whole mountain to climb. Look, I already, I climbed 100 feet. You know, okay, you may think 100 feet's not much, but how many people wouldn't even do that? How many people didn't start? I did. Yeah, I got a lot to go, but guess why I made some progress. You know, I'm a percentage of the way there. I'm, you know, a tenth of the way there. Let me do it. You know, you're going through your day and work's really getting you down. Okay, well, you know, maybe I just started, but that means I have the rest of the day to make it better. 
you know, it could be tough, this, that, but, you know, or, oh, hey, I only got two hours left. Only two hours. That's it. And then I got to go home, and then that's it. I can relax. I can do what I got to do. Uh, if you're, you know, around somebody, if there's anything like that, oh, I have, I have a problem with my significant other. Well, when, think of all the positive times. You know, hey, okay, well, I'm having an issue with them right now, um, but I care about it and I love them. You know, here's why I care about it and I love them. Here's the times that we had something different. Maybe here's a time I went through something similar. Here's how I got through it. Okay, now that helps me get through it again. You know, thinking and recalling those times that you got through something similar or something, somebody else got through something similar and applying that to your life, that could definitely help you out. Um, but just trying not to think negative thoughts sometimes is hard. Try and replace it with positivity instead of being like, oh, I'm so fat and nobody's ever going to love me. Not even me. It's just like, you know what? I lost a pound. On my weight loss thing, I lost a pound. Or, oh, hey, you know what? I achieved this goal today. If I did that, why can't I you know, lose a couple more pounds? Yeah, it may take me a little bit of time, but I could do it. And then I'll be great, you know? And, and at that, oh, I don't love myself. I love myself enough to do something about it. I love myself to recognize, hey, I have a problem and I'm going to fix it. That's a huge step. A lot of people don't even do that. They're just like, nah, it is what it is. Like me, I'll die happy. You know, body positivity, and that's the whole thing I throw around, you know? But sometimes I, had a, I eventually had to wake up and say, oh, you know, I'm past the point of a body positivity type thing. This is a serious health concern. You know, I have to be positive with myself and, and, and be realistic. It's not... Just, I'm a little overweight. I'm very overweight. I have to do something about this or I will die. And I didn't sit there and wallow in self-pity. I was just kind of like, okay, I need to do something about this. I recognize now I have a problem. I took the first step and I'm going to do it. You replace that negative thought with a positive thought. Replace, you know, all the negativity and all that. Like I said, back away from it. Take a deep breath. Get your head clear. And say, okay, there's negative stuff. What's the positive thing I need to put in this place? And doing that, you'll have a lot of success with stuff. You'll have a lot of success mentally. You'll have a lot of success with your mindset, with your friends, your family, your relationships, your health, just everything in general. And again, it may not you know, solve all of the mental issues you have. It may not solve how you feel about yourself. It may not solve all your problems, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And that's, that's, that means the world. Any step in the right direction, that's just a huge success. So, I mean, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, kind of talking about this because I wanted to make sure, you know, again, a lot of people are talking about mental health. Um, if you guys have any mental health issues or anything like that, feel free to just, you know, reach out to all these resources that you guys have. You have, you know, hotlines, there's phone numbers. I'm going to try and put some of that uh, into the, the comments below. A lot of people just struggle and struggle internally. It doesn't have to be just an internal struggle. There's things that you can do. There's people you can re reach out to who can help you through it. It's not just your fight. There's people who've been through it before. There are unfortunately going to be people who will be, will be through it again. And there's resources that you can use to help you progress to where it is. Like I said, ultimately, it's, it's you fighting yourself. You know, it sucks. But it is that. And you're the only one who could solve your problem. But you could take the steps towards it to, to getting that help, to building those tools, to getting the resources you need to help you fight those issues. So I'll leave a little bit of that into the, the description below. Um, like I said, if you guys are, are really going through something, feel free to reach out. If there's any little issue, there's resources that can help you guys. Uh, you don't have to fight it alone. So I hope this video helped out, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.